I just top rope climbed up this beautiful pitch here and my intention is to clean the anchor while rappelling down okay so for rappelling I have some rappel rings here first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my personal anchor system and I'm gonna attach myself to the master point of the anchor so I can just clip right into it lock it down and flip the carabiner okay so at this point I am independently attached to the anchor from the rope okay so I can call off belay right now I'm off belay now I can set up my rappel and for that I need to untie from my rope before I actually untie I have to secure the rope and I pull about 30 feet of rope up here and then I tie off a bite of rope here with an overhand knot or with a figure eight knot doesn't matter and you I'm clipping this to my harness okay if I accidentally drop my rope while untying I will lose the entire rope and but with this back up here it doesn't happen so now I have my rope end free from my harness so I can pull it through the rappel rings pull it through both and very important once I got them through both I need to tie a stopper end into my end of the rope here so now I'm gonna pull up some rope eventually I want to pull exactly half of the rope up here so now I really need to pay attention to the middle mark this rope here is a 60 meter long so I will at the middle mark have exactly 30 meters of rope hanging down off of each side in rappelling you always want to know what's your maximum rappel length which is always at the middle right so we got our black marked spot here on the rope can throw down my rope that I just pulled up all right rope so now I have my rappel line set now I need to attach my rappel device to the ropes okay for that I use an ATC device the same that I use for uh, belaying also okay so I need to grab both strands of the rope and I'm gonna pull up a few feet I'm gonna tap it lightly off to not have all the weight of the rope on it so now I can easily rig it so I take a loop into each rope to then squish it through the openings of the device so I clipped it through both of them and I'm gonna cinch it all the way up because now I'm gonna clip it to my PAS remember that I wanted to clean the anchors take everything off so at this point I cannot quite do this because I still need to back myself up for this I take a six millimeter climbing cord this one here is tied into a loop just with a simple overhand nut and you always want to use a locking carabiner as well so now I'm gonna wrap the loop around both of the brake strand of the rope you want to do it like three or four times eventually you clip the last loop of it so the first one was already clipped and then the last one you clip you always want to test if your friction hitch grabs the rope really nicely so you can pull on the carabiner and hold the brake ropes and if it doesn't slide down you are certain that it's a good friction hitch once you attach it to your belay loop and you lock it down that's when you can start breaking down the anchor and so I'm going to take my PAS off I clean the anchor now I got all my equipment that I had left up here for my top rope setup I have it on me right now 
and I'm backed up here and ready to repel. So now I need to just call my repel. I'm on repel! Before repelling, I need to grab the friction hitch. And here on low angle terrain, I have to force it down quite a bit. But you will see the steeper the terrain will get, the easier it is to let the rope go through the friction hitch. And again, as soon as I let go of it, I won't be able to descend further because the friction hitch grabs the brake rope and locks off my rappel device. Thanks for watching and stay safe on the rocks.